Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another Soviet Sunday as we kick off our February coverage of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. It is wild to think we're at episode 70, ladies and gentlemen. We've been going on for a very long time, and I am hoping that this month, the month of February, I mean, not in-game month, I'm hoping that this month we're going to see the uh, implementation of a completely new and complex industry in the automobile industry. We've been talking about it for a while. It, I'm hoping it'll be in February. Uh, realistically, we might just get to uh, gas and steel in the you know area across the river but uh we're definitely you know barreling towards the automobile industry it'll be very exciting i think uh folks as always i want to mention really quickly if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below as always it makes a very big difference in how i approach content on the channel what i do more or less of and I try to keep this to just once a month, as you all know. I just want to mention really quickly, if you've been really, really enjoying this series and you'd like to support the channel, uh, you know, after 70 episodes, uh, well, that's that's almost 70 hours, more than 70 hours of content. If you've been enjoying it a lot, then maybe you'd like to become a channel member or patron. To become a channel patron, uh, you join through Patreon. That will be linked in the description down below and under the I at the top right corner of the screen. And if you'd rather be direct through YouTube and become a channel member, there's the join button underneath the uh, video. You can just click that uh, to become a member. Um... Actually, one of the perks I have for channel members and patrons is uh, is something that I'd like to start using for workers and resources as well, and that's priority naming rights. Uh, basically, anytime we're going to name something, uh, I've been keeping it pretty open for now for like region names, and I think I'll keep that for region names. But when we're going to get specific, because I'd like to get specific, um, we, we we're going to open the perk up to that. I think because so for example, like you know, right now we have Veterinka Grad East, we have uh, West, and you know, so some of these are more like. Uh, for direction and for us to understand things at a quick read but um you know like so oh yeah for example it'd be pretty cool to have like a radio station with a name right radio stations have names so what i'll do actually you know what we'll start with that so i'm gonna have a pin comment down below and uh if you reply to that comment uh with your uh with your name suggestion for a radio station and of, of course keep it you know pg-13 keep it channel friendly and family friendly but uh leave a comment with your name suggestion for the radio station uh, and that's what we're going to name with today's episode and uh, if you're a channel member i can tell very easily because you'll have an icon next to your name but if you're a patron if you're on patreon then send me that suggestion through a private message instead on patreon so i know it's coming from you and uh, what i'll do is uh, I'll get all your name suggestions and I'll basically draw from a hat or if one really, really stands out and has a lot of likes or something, we'll go with that. Uh, but yeah, let's let's start with the radio station. I think that's a pretty cool uh, thing to have have named, actually. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to see the suggestions that come through. Uh, anyway, sorry, enough rambling. Again, I try to keep the whole Patreon member thing to once a month. Uh, let's, let's kick off some actual gameplay for February, shall we? So we're at 3.2 mil, feeling pretty comfortable. You know, the economy is pretty solid. We do have our next dock or sorry, our harbor over here done as well. So that was the big expense that brought us back down to the, you know, to, back down to earth, so to speak. But 3.2 is not bad. If I look at our populate, if we look at our population as well, sorry, words were not coming out of my mouth properly there. Unemployment is back up again, so that's got to do something with the trains, I imagine. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, and uh, yeah, overall, we're feeling pretty comfy there. If we look at our economy, this month has barely made us any money. Last month has lost us money. Well, this month did just start. This year, overall, very, like not very profitable at all in fact working at a pretty hefty deficit but i think that's partly because of the construction we've been doing and paying for uh let's go ahead and hit play no need to uh dally right let's go ahead and hit normal speed for now we might actually double the speed up uh, later on as we let some of the construction and stuff happen and uh, i think i'm happy with this uh, radio station continuing with its um political influence and its happiness influence for now we'll we'll keep the propaganda going until it gets up to maybe 50 percent, and then we'll swap around and play around with some other uh ideas and, and features and whatnot uh we do have we're working at fairly high efficiency rating it's got a rating that's hilarious <laughs> is that like the quality of the anyway um i think it's uh, i think it's pretty cool that uh the radio can affect people like that which is very fitting now what's the deal over here are we actually seeing any jams no looks like we're still moving smoothly i think maybe i was just recovering from a jam oh you know what yes at the end of the last session, I was recovering from a jam. On the topic of train jams, I just want to mention, so many of you in the comments, because uh, again, right, like, this is why I ask for likes and comments. I do read through all the comments, and I, I, it gives me an idea of what y'all are wondering and thinking and suggesting. A lot of you are suggesting that it might be wise to actually get a train connection to go over and deliver the uh, 
crops over here from uh, from Rurolinsky to Farminsky. Um, I love the names. Um, not a bad idea at all. I could also get a bridge maybe down over here. And that's an option too. You know, get a bridge down over here. Maybe find a way over to the, the cargo station. That's not a bad idea at all. But what I was thinking... I was sort of balancing two things out, right? On the one hand... On the one hand, we could uh, we could have a train go through, and that would deliver um, less crops more often, which is fine. Or we could do what I'm hoping to do now, which is have the ship over here uh, come down and pick up crops from over here, and that would deliver more crops less often. And I think it would deliver far more crops... Um, uh, far less often. Hold on, I just realized, yes, it can carry crops. I was like, hold on a second. This entire investment might have been a waste. Um, so that's the balancing act there, and I think the ship will do the trick. I think. And I, I want to experiment with the, the ship first, and then once we actually get our first shipment at the grain storage over here, we'll go ahead and invest in some trucks to bring that over to this grain storage. And if it doesn't work out, then, you know, we can invest in the uh, train tracks. Definitely a possibility. I like the idea. Um, I just want to try this solution out first, and I hope y'all don't mind, uh, in that, uh, like, with, with that regard. Now, hold on a second. Steel over here is zero. Okay, we still have almost a hundred tons of steel. Plenty of bricks. Too many bricks. Too many bricks on the stands floor, man. You can't drop them off over here. I wonder if it's time to maybe start exporting some bricks as well. Just get a truck over here to export the bricks out. Are you not? Yeah, you are working on a bunch of stuff. That's not a bad idea. How much do bricks go for, really? It's not a resource I want to waste, but we have so many bricks coming through. Um, sorry. I meant to go here. If we take a look at prices, bricks go for... I wish this was an alphabetical order. Bricks, there we go. Nice. Make a decent bit of money off of that, I think. I mean, this train, unfortunately. It's too bad this train doesn't connect all the way. Do you have a, a, a train connection? You don't, actually. Interesting. Yeah, we'll, we'll just get some trucks to do it. I mean, I could obviously alternatively do it over here. Like our steel train goes... Unloads steel over here. Nah. Uh, I, I want the bricks to flow down over here where all the construction's happening. So, sure. Let's go ahead and purchase, I would say, a couple of these open hull, the, the big hefty ones. This? Yeah, 12 tons? Is that what I'm looking at here? I think so. I think so. And again, I don't want it to move too quickly, so we'll get a pair of them. 20k a piece is not that much. We'll get you starting over here to pick up just the bricks, please. And then go all the way over to here to unload all the bricks. And again, I don't care that it's going slowly. I'm fine with that. Um, I'm more concerned with just doing something with those resources. You know, they're just sitting there otherwise. I, I will, of course, use them for construction, but... When we're not doing construction, it'd be nice to um, it'd be nice to to get those moving so we can empty this uh, storage area out as well, right? Just get all this stuff flowing, otherwise it's sitting still, looking pretty, doing nothing. All right, uh, what else have we got going on right now? So we've got um, passengers are hopefully flowing smoothly. Yeah, unemployment's back down to a K approximately. Probably drop down a little bit further. Workers are being picked up here. Brokers are being picked up over here as well. Passengers too. All right, looks like we're moving smoothly enough. Sorry. Yeah, more workers arriving. I'm just keeping an eye on that tram. I just noticed the tram and this train are arriving at the same time. Oh no, this train's going past. Interesting. Interesting. Well, at least if it's not causing a jam, I don't quite mind. You're about to come through to pick up 50-ish people. Well, up to 150. Good timing, it looks like. Good, good, very good. Very good. Now let's just take a quick peek over here. Some workers without a job. Why is that? Why is that? I guess it's just a matter of timing over here. Very few workers without jobs, actually. People not able to get food, though, which is a strange... ...circumstance to be in. Not one that I'd ever think I'd see again. Um, we're bringing food over. We're going to the cargo station right now. Which does not have access to food. Are you serious? That's a lot of clothes, though. What's up with food? What's up with food? Hold on now. We go over here. All related vehicles. Uh, from the cargo station. 
you are loading up food. Okay, yeah, it looks like the food factory is a little slow right now. That might be causing us some issues, actually. What's your problem? Not a lot of workers coming through? That doesn't make sense. We have those trains coming through relatively consistently. You got stuck there while this thing was transferring up. Okay. I'm trying to keep an eye on what's going on over here because we shouldn't be having this much trouble with food. With the production of food, especially. Crops might have been the problem a couple of cycles. Because right, a lot of crops end up over there. Not enough coming down over here. That might be part of the problem. Food's being pulled by you. Where do you go? The shopping center. Okay, you take 6.5 tons to the shopping center. That's also part of the distraction. You know, crops are being delivered right now, right? No. You're loading food to go to the customs house. Oh, we were exporting food? Oh, that might be what did me in. If we take a look at our, sorry, our exports. 7 tons this month. 20 tons last month. This year as a whole, 118 tons. I mean, you know, I could use that food for better purposes. Oh, this is a problem. Well, let's see how this, if this will resolve itself. Because I think once this tram goes through, this tram will be able to push through, right? Yeah. So this will resolve itself, no problem. You're still moving back and forth with a lot of livestock, and you are empty on crops. Now, why are we empty on crops? I guess when you come here, you're not able to load enough up. Strange problem. Well, let's keep an eye on this real quick. Want to make sure we don't start having food problems for some silly reason. So, so you're coming through. You're going to pick up a lot of livestock. The problem is that we're not processing that livestock quickly enough, eh? Or rather, we're not shipping the meat quickly enough. Is the real problem. Yeah, it's too bad. A lot of that stuff I built before the game had things like livestock ranges and stuff like that, so... It's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Alright, so what's going on over here? So you're going to load up how much? Surely you've got a lot of crop to load up. And you know what I could actually do, now that I think about it? Is I could limit the storage over here. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's go ahead and... Oh, can I not limit you? Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess not. I can only empty it. I can discard some. I cannot limit. That's weird. It should allow me to limit the resource. Alright, fine. Fair enough. I would just like to see an easier flow of, uh, of goods, right? You go to the warehouse. That's this warehouse back over there. And yeah, we have no crops right now. Where's the one that comes to the food factory? I might need to add another truck that brings from the food factory to the customs house. This one goes from the grain storage to the food factory and then to the distillery. And the distillery clearly still needs crops. And then it loops back. Alright, so let's go ahead and copy this over to this vehicle. Where are you, buddy? Go ahead and copy this over to you. Let's turn you around and get you back to the grain storage. It was right here, but it's empty, so it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We don't need to export food. We don't have enough to export, clearly. I thought, I thought we did. At one point, we clearly did, but not anymore. Not anymore. Good. Glad that I caught that, at least. Yeah, food is a problem. Food is a problem. At least we have some over here, but... Oof. We're gonna start starving soon. Uh, this ain't no starvation nation, folks. Not... It hasn't been for a long time, and I don't intend it to start becoming one. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're, we're selling the boards. Okay. Where are you at the cargo, Stinsky cargo station is where you load up on bricks and boards. Bricks and boards, that's fair. Yeah, we have a lot of boards over here as well. Okay, we are buying some. I think we're probably still making a net profit. What are, what is our board manufacturing looking like up over here? Yeah, we're producing boards. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're flowing smoothly enough there. Now, where's our ship actually? I wonder if I want to send this ship through. We have our bricks moving now, right? I should hope. Do we? It's hard to tell because of how quickly we actually uh, just get more bricks. 
What are you doing? Trying to move clothes. There are no clothes to ship. Max out on bricks. I mean, Jesus. Maybe, maybe I need to move... Uh, move resources a little bit faster than I thought. Over here, construction is progressing pretty well. Yep, workers are coming through. Work's getting done. The 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 twin stars are uh, are a top priority construction, obviously. Most definitely a top priority construction. One here and one there. I'm really happy with that layout. Just waiting for the sun to rise, and I think we'll start planning some more constructions over here, um, and also just try and keep an eye on this whole crop situation because yeah, that's uh becoming a bit of a problem. You you're still loading up on livestock. Buildings on fire. I'm sure we'll be fine though. I'm glad that I don't really have to worry about that stuff anymore. Where'd our train go? You already on your way back? You are. Okay, do you have enough crops? Just doesn't, like, steal them quickly enough. Well, I'm hoping that now that we've got the, the two trucks coming from the grain storage down to the food factory, hopefully that'll move a little bit faster. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And people are moving smoothly enough. Yes, excellent. I want to see what this worker count goes up to as soon as this train arrives, because that's another big uh, issue we've been having. The buses are working pretty nicely as well. Cool to see all these people arrive at the same time. That's twice in a row now. Is no one from here actually going? It's unspecified. I guess enough people are coming here already. Yeah, and then the crops are being dropped off. About 12 tons of. Okay, and then this is another 12 tons of crops coming through. I like that. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's comfortable. And you know what? I'm actually going to, from this one, I'm going to get rid of the distillery trip. Just going to be the grain storage and the food factory. And that should keep this thing running at a decent pace when we're at max capacity and everything. That, that should do the trick. You are loading up food and clothes to get to the small shopping center. Train wreck ski. Okay, yeah, you're, you're coming down to this shopping center, right? Yes. These guys are over, uh, over, like, cared for almost. Let's check something real quick over here. Yeah, we're fluctuating around the 1k mark. Trains and everything are moving. Uh, I am actually going to have to take a quick second over here. Construction noises are taking over. I don't know if you can hear them, but I know they're going to get louder. So hang on there for a second, folks. It's going to be a quick cut. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, Hope you didn't mind the quick little edit, but it yeah, got a lot louder. Um, so I'm glad I cut it out. Uh, so, all right. So during that little break, I did a quick little look around and I realized, you know what? I need to stop fretting about the whole crop situation because that's where we're in the progress of kind of solving right now. Um, uh, I'm, I, I think our current situation with the or our current solution, I suppose I should call it with the uh, the trucks moving the, the crops down over here. Uh, to the food factory will hopefully do the trick we're, we're gonna leave that be for a little while at least and we'll do a quick check-in later on oh no this isn't good okay no, no this is it's fine i was like wait a second i didn't expect the fire to be over here i saw an apartment building in the little image but uh uh turns out it's our open storage over here but no it's okay we've got our our, our buddies over here dealing with that no problem all right cool Thank God. <laughs> Thank God we put those fire stations down, right? Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I'm done with that. Let's go ahead and focus down over here for a little bit and, and make some more progress over here. Uh, we've got some... Let, let me just check over here. So we've got... Got these houses down. I'm trying to... It, it's becoming a little uh, cumbersome to keep in mind everything that's going on. So let's see. Oh, these guys are all employed and everything. That's great. Fire extinguished. Fantastic. 13 workers without a job over here. Where are you going? You're going to the kindergarten. I assume the kindergarten doesn't have oh, I can't double click it I assume the kindergarten uh, doesn't have enough places to work it doesn't correct so the rest of you let's go ahead and add another stop to this bus stop yeah that's 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 from from there people get brought down over here right what are we looking at over here food is being produced we've got it's being produced people also get brought down over here not a lot of workers right now but this is the next big thing that we need to uh, get going over here is how many Workers, we can get producing meat, and once we get the meat through, actually, I don't know if I've set... I have not. I do not have a truck currently shipping meat up to the store over here, which is the next order of business. So let's get that going. Uh, well, we'll get them dropping the meat off at the Brixtonia meat storage. Kind of unfortunate that they have to do this loop around, but I guess that's how the uh, connections worked out. Must have been, otherwise I wouldn't have done it, right? Uh, clothes are more than okay. Alcohol. I thought we had plenty of alcohol. I guess it's being trucked over right now. Our restaurant over here, that's our clinic. Restaurant over here, yeah, has alcohol, but not nearly enough. 
Where is the vehicle that brings alcohol? I don't have one? I don't remember that. I thought I could have sworn. All right, well, clearly not. So let's go ahead and make a truck that brings alcohol. Yeah, okay, so if the truck brings alcohol over to, well, the small barn isn't the ideal spot to, to take those. Let's take it directly to the restaurant over here. We need 7.5 tons per trip. I don't think I need to carry all that at once. We have 20 tons of alcohol here already. Uh, let's just get one of those four ton small JE 3000s or whatever it is. We, we don't need to overspend over here, right? Because it's, it's either that or it's like this giant one, 20K. It's a 5K difference. Surely there's something in the middle. Two tons, 0.75 doesn't make any sense. 4.5 tons for a little bit less money. A little bit slower. A weaker engine as well. Yeah, I think we should just stick with the JE 300. It's a decent rate. It's not that expensive. Sure, why why fix what isn't broken, right? So let's start you over there. You're going to pick up alcohol and only alcohol, and you're going to drop it off at the restaurant. I'm going to keep that as a... Oops. How did that happen? There we go. Look to you, and there we go. Unload. Wait until... No, don't wait until unloaded. Actually, yes, wait until unloaded. Let's go ahead and start that. Cool, so alcohol is going to be coming through, and then food I need to start bringing through as well, right? Because food we're also not bringing through. And food... Food... Does not go in the barn? Oh, that's... Wait, hold on a second. What? Oh, yeah, it does. Wow, I'm blind. What? Having a strange day, folks. Alright, so for food, let's definitely get the JE300 as well. Um, covered hull... JE300, and you, my friend, are going to go from here. You're going to pick up only food. Wait until you're loaded, and then you're going to go down to the barn, and you're going to unload all the food. Not the fabric, the food. Wait until unloaded. Cool. That should supply food over here, and it should supply... We've got clothes already, meat I've got to bring, and then alcohol we've got. So, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at meat next. We're not producing it quickly enough. We've got 2.5 tons over here. Why isn't the storage pulling it, though? Well, I guess it doesn't pull until it's being produced. Oh, it only pulls excess. Fair enough. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and buy yet another... Well, no, this needs to be a freezer. Freezer, where are you? Covered hole, fire to dumper, refrigeration. I don't know why I was looking for freezer. Uh, 2 tons, 8 tons, 3 tons, 6.5, 1.8. We can do the uh, three tons. It's only a little bit more expensive. Well, you know, it's a lot more expensive. Maximum speed is a little bit higher. Engine power is a lot higher. All right, fine. It's the Zill 130, I suppose, is our new refrigeration truck. And you're going to start at this spot over here to load up on meat, of course. Wait in Oh, I can't specify. Wait until you're loaded. And then come over here and unload the meat, obviously. Wait until unloaded. Go ahead and start that, and let's see how that works out for us. And then eventually this can be the central storage point from which we um, distribute to other uh, uh, other you know shops and things like that. Uh, much like we have set up, you know, back up over here. I think it's so cool that we have a, a radio station that influences how people think. As I was finishing that sentence, I could feel the, the dirtiness of it. Um, so you don't have to point it out, don't worry. All right, what's the deal over here? Okay, now we're seeing food come through. Now we're seeing food get made. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So we'll we'll be recovering there soon enough. And I want to check over here. We have almost 300 tons. We have a lot of crops. Now you're empty. Well, you don't need crops. You've got a lot of crops now. I'm feeling pretty good about that, folks. Feeling pretty good about that. Now let's do a quick test run over here. If I go ahead and I send you through... Okay, let's go ahead and send you through. Plenty of resources we're carrying. Oh my god. 360k worth of uh, of goods. But first you're going to come down over here where bricks have been emptied out a fair bit. So that's good. The exports are working. Over here bricks are almost always full. But that's because we've got a train going back and forth, right? But yeah, that thing will come down over here. Load up approximately 300 tons of crops. Drop it off over here. And I hope I'll never have to import crops again. Let's see, right? So June of 1981. June of 1981 should hopefully be the last month when we import crops. We've been wasting a lot of money on this, haven't we? 
32k. That's ridiculous. Last month, 57k. This year, 309. Last year, 518. That's such a waste. But yeah, after this, we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't see that. Bit of a slow boat, isn't it? Bit of a slow boat. Right, over here, what was I doing? So we've got people waiting. The bus stop. They're getting picked up. These guys are still building the Red Star Monument. Okay, fair enough. That's a short bus ride, but you do you, I suppose. I gotta upgrade some of these roads as well. My big concern, big I say, I say that loosely, uh, is, is getting enough workers down over here. We gotta get a hundred workers in this area to, to make this function properly. Once the construction's done, you know, three of these should be enough for that. Okay, we're, we're not that poorly off. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe upgrade some of these roads, though. Yeah, these people need some proper roads, and we can spend the money. Go ahead and auto-build these, obviously. Uh, start with you. I want to be wary of my, my financial situation. I don't want to fall below 3 million. Just keeping an eye on that as I build. But this should really help speed things up a little bit over here. Give people a bit more reach. Yeah, look at the slowdown on those vehicles as they get there. It's insane. Like, it makes sense, but, you know, it's also crazy to, to see in action. Here, let's go ahead and build you, build you, and build you. Speed everything up a little bit. Speed everything up a little bit. There we go. Still at 3.2. Like, I think, three, I think this is about where I want to stop. Yeah. Let's let's stick there, and then we'll keep building when we hit like 3.5 again or something. I like to do it in batches, but uh, maybe it's time to consider the next batch, so to speak, and get uh, get ourselves to the valley over here. This town will hopefully grow. I mean, I could build some more housing over here first, but what else do we need people for, right? What else do we need people for down over here? We have enough people. Oh, I guess I could get people working at a cement factory. What does a cement factory need? Cement factory requires coal and gravel. Coal and gravel. Okay. Gravel we can get nearby, no problem. And gravel we can also, you know, have a train ship in. In fact, should I be doing that soon? Maybe soon. Gra well, as soon as the bridge is done. And it, it, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, but yeah, gravel we can bring in. So the cement factory will take some time to build, but how many... Okay, how many workers does it take? Sorry, forgot to check that. A cement plant only needs 30 workers? Max? You're kidding me. Okay, that's not that much. So we've got that. Um, maybe some gravel mines and some gravel processing if we want to do that over here. I don't think I do. Again, uh, I'd rather import that. So looking at another 30 workers, 100, 130, more farming. I guess this doesn't really need to be all that much bigger. Oh, that's crazy. It's actually a small town. And I should accept that. Like, it's fine for it to be a small town. We don't need more than that over here. We don't need more than that over here. So when the sun rises, I'll actually, yeah, build our extension. One thing I'd like to see, well, okay, the sports should be accessible now. There's no kindergarten. All right, that's an easy enough fix. Now, what's wrong with you? Wait until unloaded. The problem, what's wrong with you is you have too many clothes here. Um, so let's go ahead and make fabric zero, make alcohol zero, chemicals, electronic components, mechanical components, plastics, and electronics. All can be zero. Uh, we want to store clothes and food here. We don't even need crops over here. Cool. 50-50 clothes and food. Yes. I don't want to dump that many clothes. That's ridiculous to even think about. 22.5 tons of clothes. Do some quick math over here. Clothes. Oh, no way. 22.5 tons selling at 3k a piece. That's way too much money to throw away. 22.5 tons. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Covered haul. 8 tons of clothes. I wish you could organize by, like, um, how much of a resource they can push. I think 8 tons is still our biggest... Uh, Go ahead and get you just the one, and we'll we'll make this do something else later. But I want you to go over here, and then I want you to go over 
here and I want you to load only clothes. I want you to go over here. I want you to load on, unload only clothes. Let's do that. We need to we need to get that done. That's that's just absolutely ridiculous. We're actually losing a lot of money here. I don't like that. We've unloaded all of our bricks. The steel is okay. We topped up on steel over here. Fair enough. We're trying to unload twenty nine percent. And then what else have we got going on? Crops. We're trying to load crops while we're unloading cl clothes. With clothes, I think we just did already. Must have. Yes, we did. Must have. All right, cool. Perfect. And now you're moving on. No, you're going to leave and come back. And all that because I can't. Oh, I can separately. Strange. Okay, I think I maybe goofed there a little bit. Because I could say over here, load 100% of the crop. And that way we wouldn't have to do this little weird, super slow movement as well. If I load crop, how much crop are we loading? 20%. If I do that, sure, 19%. I, I, I don't understand why the game works with these weird numbers. So are you actually going to go and rotate and come back in? That's kind of silly, but all right, fair enough. All right, we're seeing the bricks move. Oh, look at that's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty neat to see all, like, almost all of these loaded up or, or filled up with vehicles, I guess. Uh, all right, sun's up. Let's go ahead and start planning our next steps, I guess. These guys will have sports. They have, you know, food. They have a kindergarten and everything. I think they're pretty well taken care of. This is our main road, so that main road will continue. Some other infrastructure's in the way. Okay, well, can we too steep of an incline? Again, right, just as a reminder, I'm trying to minimize how much terraforming we do over here. Like, when it makes sense, we'll terraform, obviously. Like, like that wasn't too much, so that's fine. But overall, I want to minimize how much we uh, we do. And I want that to dictate the uh, shape of the roads over here. I want it to feel like a rural area, right? Like, you're going through a more... Uh, a, a less tame part of, uh, of the nation. Like, over here, we might need to... Oh no, we're we're good. I this I actually really like this limitation of the roads. As much as it's easy to be upset that that's how the roads work, it re, it results in these really organic kind of uh, layouts that are a lot more believable. Like if you've ever lived somewhere where you know the roads are along a mountainside, you'll know. Like yeah, you know what you have you have winding roads because it's not like you're gonna literally flatten a mountain. To, to build a little city. Wonder, let's see. I wonder where, how we want to spread this out, right? Because, okay. I could build all the stuff on this side or I could build some of it on this side. And I'm tempted to build some of it on this side and some of it on this side. I could do a 50-50 split. The reason for that split would be, let's see, coal, iron, and oil, right? Oil is only down over here. But the other two, let's see. Oh man, we're, we're getting close to the automobile industry, actually. I thought it would take uh, longer than this. Um, just got to keep my pace up. So if we look at the oil rigs, right? The oil rigs will stay down over here. And the oil rigs, if I recall correctly, they don't actually need any workers. They, uh, they kind of work on their own. So yeah, lots of oil down over here. We'll have a bunch of rigs. We'll have the oil facilities over here as well, though. I don't want to... I don't want to... Oh no, I almost said it in a terrible way. Uh, I don't want to build all the piping is how I'm going to say it, so I don't get demonetized. I don't want to build all the piping to move all that oil up to here or anything like that, right? We'll, we'll process it all over here and then have the processed goods either piped over or trucked over, whatever makes sense. Um, so yes, all the oil stuff will happen over here. Then all the coal... Where are we? Um, all the... Okay, so the iron, because that's the first one I'm hovering over. Can you be mined over here? Yes, you can be. Plenty of iron just in this pocket over here. Some down over here as well, right? Again, it's on both sides. Any iron over here? No, no iron over here. None over here. All right. So, hypothetically, our iron industry could be over here, right? And just on both sides of the mountain, I suppose. Because there is a lot of iron down over here as well. So both sides of the mountain on this side could be dedicated to iron. And then our coal, if 
I'm not mistaken, we have coal where? Oh, there's coal on this side. It's all on that side of the mountain, isn't it? There's a lot down over here. Alright. Well, no, there's some on this side. Minimal on this side, though. Oh, there's a good bit over here. And again, we want to get a power plant, right? We want to get a new power plant down over here. Export more power. I mean, geez. The coal could really be on either side of the mountain. If the iron is over here... Alright, let's... This is a bit of a... This is going to become a bit of a planning session now. So, iron mining happens over here. The iron ore gets taken into a storage sp uh, space, and then it gets taken to an iron ore processing plant. Oh, I say un. I don't mean a singular. I obviously mean like a battery like we had up at Rostinsky. Okay. So we've got iron being mined. Mine, mined? What? Oh, I, I'm like losing my English skills. Iron being mined is what I meant to say, and then it's being processed into iron proper, and then it is being taken to a steel mill where it's converted into steel. Great. So far, so good. If we look at our very our engineering industry, our vehicle production line requires steel, lots of steel, mechanical components, which also requires steel. It requires fabric, which requires crops and chemicals, okay? And chemicals require wood, and what else? This is, like, the automobile industry is a hefty industry. Chemical plant requires oil and crops and gravel and wood. Lots of stuff. But all stuff we can get down over here. Uh, dry dock, build our own ships. I mean, it'd be pretty cool. Um, build our own trains. Oh, man, there's so many options in this game. Okay, sorry. Um, plastics also require chemicals and just chemicals, is it? Let's see, where's our plastic factory? Up over here, right? Requires chemicals and oils. Okay, well, it's a good thing that oil is plentiful down there. Mechanical components, uh, electronic components and electronics. Okay, so if I look at various industry, electronic components requires plastic, steel, and chemicals. Okay, we, ha we already will have things for all of that in the region. Um, and then... And then the electronics assembly hall to make the actual electronics requires electronic components. Okay, plastics, okay, and mechanical components. Okay, right. So that is a lot of industry that needs to happen here, basically. Oh, well, it's going to be a big city. This is going to be a big, 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 big city. Because we'll have all the iron over here. We'll have, like, so this will be iron mining. This will be iron processing, including, like, a steel mill, or maybe a couple of steel mills, actually. Plastics and stuff over here. Electronic components in this area. I'm, I'm like, not setting it in stone, but just trying to get an idea of, like, how big it'll be. So if this is all industry, we have the road come down this way, housing over here. People get trained and bussed and, you know, trammed in to, uh, or trolley bussed in to, uh, work. Right, okay. Well, this is exciting. Okay, this is, uh, it's daunting, but it's also exciting. And sorry, just about missed this. You are unloading crops, and you are getting topped up. Great. 800 tons max at a time, so 300 tons shipped at a time isn't bad. Cool, very cool. And let's go ahead and get a truck or two. Bye-bye. Let's go ahead. Covered hull. Gonna get the, sorry, gonna get the uh, KMZ 5410. Get a couple of them. Worth it. Worth it. Start over there. Stop over there. Load crop. Unload crop. Again, let's copy your schedule over to the other vehicle as well. Same thing. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? You should go to the grain storage. You should go to the cargo station. Load the crops. Okay, and then copy that over to you. Go ahead and get you going as well. And I should have actually connected the road over here. Easier for it to get around, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> not the end of the world. I wonder if... So you're going to go this way. Loop down. Loop up. Loop back down. I wonder if we can make a connection over here. To make life a little bit easier for some of these vehicles. Nah. Can't sneak by, eh? There's uh, overlaps with existing construction. 
what the, the wires really I don't want to delete, destroy that we've had it for so long it seems kind of like silly it would save some time not a lot of time some time it's okay it is what it is how much are we shipping yeah 12 tons at a time that's pretty comfortable that's pretty comfortable. That 300 tons should allow us to never have to import crops again. I'm going to keep this active, though. Uh, but hopefully we'll never have to import crops again. And over here, plenty of crops, which we're hopefully never importing. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're actually surprisingly low on crops, considering how high we'd gotten at, some, at, at, at one point. Wow, this is actually emptied out completely. I guess because we've got two trucks now bringing it to the food factory. I almost wonder if our train that brings crops over to Farm... Or not to Farminsky, but to, uh... Yeah, I wonder if we need either two of these trains or if we need this train to be a bit bigger. Might be a good idea to get two of these trains. Or make this one bigger. And I, I hesitate to make... To get two trains. Uh, because, um... We might start seeing some traffic issues again. But 108 tons of crops disappears that quickly? That's kind of ridiculous. That's kind of crazy. I almost wonder if we shouldn't get trucks bringing crops up from over here as well, you know? Because a constant supply of, of, of crops is essential over here. Yeah, everything's out of crops. It's kind of kind of wild. That is kind of wild. We can wait and see how it plays out, but it's not going to make a difference because it's still only 108 tons being moved at, his, at, at a given time. And if that 108 tons is not enough, then it's going to forever be not enough. Why are you stuck here again? Oh, because this tram's over here. Strange that they can't both come down at the same time. What's the deal there? Is it because this is a chain and this is also a chain? Maybe. And then this is also a chain. So this one inspects this one over here. Hmm. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. It slows things down a little bit. But our crop train has only been slowed down once by... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out on that. But it is something to think about. It is something to think about. Um, hmm. Yeah, I might want to make a make that connection. It might make a world of difference in our crop supply. Anyway, for now though, let's go ahead and focus on this again. So, right, you come through, you go around that way. I mean, maybe we can even connect the road this way. We'll figure it out. We'll see what needs to be done over here. That little town might expand a little bit as well. We'll see what's necessary. But over here, let's go ahead and... Right, looks like we can build some straight road over here for a little bit. Go ahead and do that. Come down this way. And I guess the town could start over here, right? We could have a nice big town on this side and the coal power plant. Again, I'd like to keep it up over there, but coal is only over here, right? I, I want to keep, like, pollution in mind. Uh, I don't like the idea of just putting people next to where they work if the place where they work is super polluting. I want to be a bit more um, conscious in that. Yeah, coal isn't really available on this side. It can be shipped. It can definitely be shipped. Alright, so if coal's available on this side. Not plentiful. Well, there's, there's, there's some decent spots. Oh, there's some good spots over here. Oh, there's some great spots over here. Ooh, okay. So, alright, so if this is coal... This is iron and plastics and all that stuff, and this is coal. Then maybe this town needs to be, like, tucked away over here, right? So let's go ahead and cancel some of this road. Let's cancel some more of this road, actually. All right, here's what we're going to do. Cancel you up to there. I'm going to rotate you around. Pulling you over. Come on now. A little bit of flattening, I suppose, is necessary over here. Yeah. Just a touch. I just realized we're auto-building. Glad I noticed that now. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. 
I wish this was a little bit smoother, if I'm completely honest. Well, no, that's uh, that's a bit much. Cancel you. Move this a little bit further down. I'm trying to like carve out a shape over here, just in case, uh, like in case it wasn't clear what I was up to. Go ahead and do something like this. Okay, something like this, right? So you come down again. It's not as like curvy and smooth as I'd like it to be. I wonder if I could. Uh, doesn't really work the way I'd expect it to. Let's go ahead and do that. Get a little bit more ground over here. What's going on here? Separate parts, I guess. All right. I gained a couple millimeters. Every millimeter is going to count here, folks. Let's go ahead and trash you down to there, and let's see if we can't... No, it's going to do that. There we go. Come on now. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't, you know what? I don't, I don't mind that. It's kind of a weird shape over there, but it works. It works. All right. So if all the housing and stuff is over here, and over here would be the coal power plant to bring the coal over from... I guess the coal is down over here, right? Man. These mountains are huge. This is a massive mountain range. I keep losing its scope and its scale. Oh, yeah. Coal is plentiful over here. The power plant's going to be, like, over here. Okay. Power plant's going to be over there. So over here, we'll split out. And this will be our little town. Now, are there any resources available over here? Let's just make sure first, right? No iron available over here. I don't want to waste any resources because, you know... I wouldn't call them limited, but but they are. There's a little bit of coal over here, not enough to be a, a big um, loss. We are able to get gravel in the area as well. Gravel is just, you know, where we get stone, basically. Like, gravel quarries we can get. Yeah, there's plenty of room for, for gravel quarries. I'm not worried about that. Um, okay. So we got you all laid out. Uh, I guess I could start planning, like, the coal power plant and stuff and the coal mines. You come through, you drive down. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort this out in my head. Come down, where does the town actually begin? Over here, perhaps? That way it's not a big trip down to the farms and stuff if necessary. The town begins over here. And again, let's not lose sight of the size of Veterinka Grad, right? Like, this is big. And this town is probably going to actually be bigger. So it might take up this entire space, and the coal power plant's probably actually going to be over here. Because the coal mines are here. Might even put the coal power plant over here. I do coal aggregate storage and stuff as well to make sure we don't face the same issues. Again, using the lessons we learned to move forward, right? So let's go ahead and... Infrastructure in the way. I hate that it does that for curved roads. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started over here, shall we? Trying to hug these mountains a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Again, going for a slightly more organic feel here. Might go a bit more rigid in the central areas, but... Don't want to go carving mountains. Do that kind of a thing. Whoops. Weird. Loop you around a little bit. Alright. Feeling kind of legit over here. Pretty good. Okay, pretty good. That's our, like, outer ridge, basically, following this mountain range. Very cool. Um, obviously, there will need to be some flattening when we actually put the buildings down, because there's, like, this little hill over here, which, you know, is a no-go, obviously. Um, I wonder if... Like, if we put a bunch of housing on either side of this hill, and make that hill where all, like, the shopping center and stuff is, that could be pretty cool. Right, that could be pretty neat. Got this going on. It kind of looks like a face. This is like, this is the hairline. This is like a very Picasso-esque nose. This is the chin. This is where the mouth would be. This is where the eyes would be. Um, sorry, getting distracted over here. <laughs> Procrastinating my placements. Got you coming through. Um, I suppose we'd like 
bend this down in a way again. I do like this kind of a thing. Because again, this is where the coal plants, or well, the power plant will be. Okay, let's keep you just down to there for now. Um, let's go ahead and do we want to do brick houses or massive apartment blocks? I think we'll do the brick houses first. And then maybe the bigger apartment blocks further down over here. And like this is maybe the cutoff for our um, for our uh, power plant and stuff. Or this is like we're not going to put housing beyond this line over here is what I'm thinking right now. Now here's the thing. If I create an, a named area like Rostinsky. No, that was a rename. Um, was Vecherinka grad a custom name? I'm trying to figure out if I can delete names that I don't like. I can cancel. No, that's a cancel. Date established unknown. That's weird. Party power. A cancel. Ah, uh, okay. We can, in fact, get rid of names. Great. Because that wasn't. I don't think that was available when um, when the game first uh, went into early access. Let's actually move that. I've always been bothered by how high party power was, but that's because that was the first kind of thing we put down. So let's put it down over here. And we're going to rename you. Oh, that annoys me. That that bothers me. We've lost the uh, the legacy of, of party power. It's not the end of the world. This is the legacy of party power being renamed. Okay, so good to know that we can in fact delete. And I'm uh, now I'm tempted to actually move all these names, but no, 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 not gonna get that neurotic right now. All right, can let's check uh, Ruralinsky here. Okay, so it can also be canceled. Oh my god, why do we have so many right, crops? Okay. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and put a name down. Um, go ahead and put a name down over here. Well, I can, I can, now that I know I can delete names, I don't have to do that. Alright, cool. Housing. Sorry, folks, a little, a little all over the place only because I'm establishing a very very crucial and big part of our uh, of our nation here. And actually, before I get into that, I do. I'm close enough to 3.5 that I want to get some of this work done. Oh, oh, come on, come on, party! Move you out. Some of the clothes have emptied out, but let's go ahead and, and pick those clothes up, shall we? Going to unload a bunch of clothes. No, 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 no. Loop back, loop back, loop back. Get out of there. Don't need more clothes dropped off over here. 12 tons will take us to 25. Almost done already. Food is now, yes, arriving here properly. And if I just go ahead and I remove the ordering of food, we'll be good. Well, now hopefully... Did you seriously... Oh, 8 tons, not 12 tons. What am I, what am I doing? Okay, soon enough it'll be taken care of. So let's go ahead and get um, these roads upgraded. The other thing is I do want to... Oh, right. I, I need to remember that these are going to be trolley buses... Or trolley bus accessible, or whatever we want to call it. All right, asphalt roads with streetlights and sidewalks. Let's go ahead and start planting you down over here. Oh, forgot to check out a build this time. Come on, there we go. Not a problem. Not the end of the world. Cool. Auto build. There we go. Done. Get this section done over here. Still have plenty of money. So happy that our economy is, uh, you know, fully recovered and stuff. All right, there we go. Connect you. Three point four still. I guess our ship is still at the border right now, making us all that money. There we go. It's three point three eight. Money is looking good right now. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it by saying that. Knowing my luck, I probably am. There we go. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Hook you up here. Hook this up if it'll let me. There we go. Get this bus stop connected as well. Just gotta speed up the rate at which people are being moved around this, this part of the nation. Actually, all these houses are done, so I'm wondering if I should not uh, school there, move some people down here from up over here.
And by saying wonder, I mean I should definitely do it. 41 workers without a job. Well, I've got some work for you. Let's relocate. Yeah. Hopefully you just move the unemployed. I could probably move another family down there. I say family. I, I hope we're not splitting people up. 92 workers without a job. All right, I need to see what's going on in terms of the trains. I feel like the trains are mucking about again. No, still at 1K. I mean, I was going to put down a TV station over here as well, and I wonder if I should do that right now. Provide some more employment in the area. 92 workers without a job. 31 without a job. 27. 20. Yikes. A lot more than I would have expected. What's going on? Are you stuck? You're not stuck. You're about to leave. Fine over here. You're only stuck because that's stuck. You're transporting clothes and fabrics. That's not the end of the world. This train's coming through. It's not going to get stuck. Yeah, we're, we're moving fine. No issues. Okay, fair enough. All right, back down over here. Uh, there's actually a lot of planning to do. Like, so here's the thing, right? With one-way roads, I'm not super... Like, I'm not a city planner, right? I have my limitations with regards to um, understanding why something should be one way or, or another. That that pun was actually unintentional. Um, but if, okay, so if, if, if vehicle, this, this should be two ways. Now, I could actually make this into a bit of a highway kind of a thing, I suppose. Like, eventually, right, still a rural road. I would say this is the city limit, right? This would make a good city limit. Once you get up to there, let's split this up into multiple lanes, so to speak. Unfortunately, the roads don't quite work like that. Unfortunately. And and watch, like, the next update is going to have uh, that kind of a, a thing. Put you over there, right? So this is, you know, our theoretical two-lane... Theoretical? Hypothetical? This is our two-lane road. Right, I can make them both one ways. Or they could both be two ways. Try and match it as much as possible. Oh, come on. Come on, game. There we go. There we go. Is there a real value of this? Well, I'm hoping that the traffic throughput is going to be that much higher. All right, we're not going to see traffic jams. We're not going to see buses and, and trucks and stuff causing issues. Because, again, I expect this to be a pretty busy part of the nation. Going to have the... You know, massive industry on one side. Absolutely huge industry on one side. Go ahead and... Come on now. Come on now. Might need a little split over here. Or might need to flatten this a little bit, actually. Go ahead and do that. Cancel you. Cancel you. Oh, let's try in a little bit. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted. I'd rather just lower this down over here. There we go. Nope. There we go. Still too steep of an incline, eh? All right, let's go ahead and cancel this section again. Cancel a little bit further back. There we go. Let's just try to flatten this area out. Uh, up to you. Auto building again. Turn that off. Oh, don't have a free bulldozer. Are you kidding me? Fine. I'll just pay for it. Not that expensive. Really not that expensive. There we go. That should do the trick. If I connect you over there. Pull you around a little bit. Come on. Oh, nope. Uh, okay. Hold on. Start from this side. It's too densely packed. Alright, folks. Just trying to... Again, first time kind of doing this, right? So... Got some of those kinks that I need to figure out. There we go. There we go. Hmm, that one's not perfect. I wish I had a, a an actual, you know, two-lane road system in this game. And now, I haven't... Uh, I don't know the actual numerical benefits of doing something like this, but many of you have mentioned in the in the comments and in, in private messages on Discord and stuff that this is a good idea. I am trusting y'all. Because why would you steer me wrong? 
as my counsel and my advisors. Alright, there we go. Get you hooked up like this. The only thing is, like, every once in a while, we're gonna have to... Oh, you know... Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? You know why it's not gonna work? Because we're never gonna be able to cross. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. We can do some. And now I can't cancel this one. Well, that one stays. <laughs> that one stays. I guess some of these are too close. Oh, okay. Okay. We've got some spots where we can do these crossings. That's all I need, really. Just a couple of spots where we can do these crossings. We have one down here. Alright, they just have to be at a bit of an angle. That's not a problem at all. That's not a problem at all. Alright, cool. Okay. Thank god. I was worried I just realized something that just wasted the last, what, like five minutes or ten minutes of planning. Okay, well let's end this over here. And you know what, this can actually stop maybe being a two-lane over here. But we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, okay. Heavy traffic flow down this way, right? So from there, if I go ahead and let's say this is an intersection. It's so weird doing this kind of planning in a system like Workers and Resources because it doesn't feel like it's built for it, although it does seem capable of tackling it. You know what I mean? It seems capable of tackling what I'm going for, but it was certainly not meant to be. Go ahead and again use those organic shapes, right? We can go up to there. So this... Yeah, this is a, a th like, I don't even know what the term is, but vehicles from all directions, whether they're buses or whatever they might be, they come through here and they push through this way. So this should be a two way and then one ways would be happening inside this space, right? This is a pretty cool shape. Oh, it's still a face though. Now it's like, that's the hairline. He's wearing like a mask because he's a superhero. He's a Soviet man. We've got, uh, I could make this into a nose. Oh, it's so tempting. I love looking at maps and seeing uh, shapes. Like if you ever look at the map of the United States, uh, you know how you can spot Kentucky? It's the fried chicken on the frying pan. Look at a map of the United States. Imagine Kentucky is on top of a frying pan and you can see a chef holding a frying pan, frying a piece of chicken. I'm, I know I sound crazy right now. And I can't remember all the states that are involved, but I think like Mississippi is the boot or is Louisiana the boot? Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> look up a map. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, um, so this is pretty good. So this is where our initial housing is going to be, and I'm thinking if we can actually fit. I think it'd be really cool if we can fit um, a, like grocery store. Oh yeah, you know this is actually a much bigger hill than I thought. So if we can make this little hill over here, our little uh, community center, we could give it a, a, a name and everything, right? So have groceries, have schools, kindergartens. Um, gyms and stuff and then have housing all around it over here and then um have housing down over here as well but i actually don't know like if we do one community center two community center and then housing kind of in the middle and around that could work that could work well we're at 3.5 again uh this road i mean all the main well actually no there's still a little bit did I just auto-build a bunch of tracks? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we do want to auto-build you, though. Connect you. You all connected. There we go. There we go. Cool. By the time I get here, I want to be putting down trolley-capable um, tracks and stuff and bus stops and everything. And I guess I could get the road over here done as well. Again, I don't mind if this episode ends up at 3.2 as well. That's a comfortable spot to be sitting in. And we'll leave this for later, because I don't know exactly what the plan is there. Cool. Turn off auto build before I make a massive mistake. Nice. I mean, this is all flowing pretty smoothly now. Uh, construction is all done, so let's go ahead and resume your construction, right? What else are we building? Nothing. So yeah, let's get to, let's get to work, get this thing done. The tracks have come a long way. The uh, crops, wow, emptied already. Oh my god, that's like nothing. We're already in the realm of having to buy crops? Are you kidding me? Hmm. Maybe we do need a train. Maybe I just need to reduce how much we're picking up over there. How much, how much crops have we dropped off over here? 
almost topped up. Almost topped up. So, I mean, once... This section's almost done. This section is halfway done. Like, once these tracks are done, I'm now wondering... If we don't... Yeah, get a train... From here. We'd have to build, like, a little loop over here or something. Or it would, like, go down, go all the way around. Actually, couldn't do that. We'd have to build a little loop over here. So the train goes down, loops around, goes across the bridge. It's, a, it's such a long way to go. It's such a long way to go over to here and even up to there. Other options, of course, to add a bridge over here. Still a long way to go. The ship is the shortest path and the cheapest path as well. It's just a slow path. I wonder if we should reduce the quantity of pickup it does over here so that it moves through a little bit faster. If we drop this down to, say, 29% or even 19%. Right, so it's shipping more often. I think that'll solve a lot of problems for us. I think that'll solve a lot of problems for us. Uh, unemployment is a little high right now, so let me just quickly check over here if we've got a lot of people waiting over here. Yes, we do. Are our trains stuck? Oh, looks like they might be. It looks like they are. Amazing. Glad I got to see that happen. Why don't we flip you around? You go the other way. I, I, again, I wish they were a bit more cognizant of what was going on. You're just going to sit there, aren't you? Oh, this is a, this is a hot mess. That's a, that's a hot mess. Okay, now you're moving that way. I don't know why you waited this long. You're gonna flip around. Okay, this should clean us up. Yikes. Yeah, that's a, it's a good way to tell when uh, most of the population isn't able to work. So it's a good way to tell. God. Anyway, um, pretty happy with how today's session progressed overall. We are starting to see a few cracks in the foundation um, as food was a problem for a little bit, but it looks like we're back on track with that. Yeah, everyone's getting food now. Um, so that's good. We've made some progress across the... Uh, we, we've made some progress across the, the, the river where we're starting to lay out the foundation over here. I'm very curious as well, by the way, to hear your thoughts about our, our plans for uh, this new extension. Uh, let me know what you think about my plans over here because, again, I always look into the comments for thoughts and feedback. Many of you have played this game for a lot longer than me or are just, you know, more in the world of city building, I guess, uh, or have a lot more experience with uh, with the trains and stuff, for example. So, you know, if you have any thoughts, feel free to let me know. But I'm, I'm excited to get this happening as the next session. But, folks, this is where we're going to uh, to, to call it a, uh, a session. Oh, man. It's... Uh, Exciting times. I'm really excited to see this uh, region grow and, and and I'm really excited to see all those industries working in, you know, tandem to build automobiles and stuff. But we got to make sure we plan this out right because otherwise it's going to be a nightmare and a half. A nightmare and a half, folks. But on that note, which I wish was a happier note to end on, really, we're going to call it a session. 3.3 million, still making some money, made some progress today. Got to figure out some small issues here and there, but the train problems will always be problems. Folks, quick reminder to give your name suggestions for the first radio station in the pinned comment down below. Again, channel members and patrons, you have that little perk that basically means that your name is a priority pick when it comes time to picking some names. Uh, on that note... As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons. A lot of new additions in January and December, so thank you all very much for joining in. And of course, a massive thanks to all of you who've been supporting the channel like this for the last however long. I greatly appreciate it. Words cannot express how much I appreciate it. But of course, I have to also thank each and every one of you who've been watching along commenting, liking, new subscribers, subscribers that have been watching for so long. I, 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 it's a uh, it's been a joy uh, playing this game with all of you, and I, I hope you all continue to join me for, you know, countless more episodes. This was episode 70, folks. This mini-series has gone on for a very long time. This mini-let's play has gone on for a very long time. But, today's session at least comes to an end now. 
Until next time. Das Vidanya.